Well, I've been observing uh, the, uh, this initiative for some years. Actually, uh, President Xi Jinping re uh, started his strategy in 2013. A year ago, I wrote a book uh, on uh, the changing of the guard and moving from the transatlantic age, if you wish, to the Pacific age, because China is not only a tremendous investor, China is also a geopolitical actor. And uh, today, for me, it was very interesting to see this next chapter that is about to be opened. Well, I think the Chinese leadership was very clear about it. We had it also in our talks in Beijing over the last days. Um, all our uh, discussion partners said the Chinese government is not afraid uh, of something that could be a trade conflict. They don't want to see it happen. But in case it should arise, uh, they will take measures. So we do hope as a country that earns uh, every uh, well, you can say every second euro that we earn is out of export. So we are a truly globalized economy and we depend highly on what is happening in global trade. Uh, so as a small export-oriented country, we definitely hope that there will be some compromise, that uh, spirits will remain cool and that everybody will see there is a common interest in a fair trade. Definitely the European Union and China, they have been building up on a strategy for the last 15 years. So they are working groups on 60 different topics. Uh, and the Austrian government has clearly pointed out uh, that Asia, in particular China, ranks among its priorities. Uh, that is part of our government program. And uh, the moment we take over our presidency, we will also give uh, special attention to the Pacific region, uh, to Asia. And inter alia, uh, the Austrian government, together with the European Union, will host uh, a meeting with our Asian partners in mid-October in Brussels.